guys, welcome back to my channel. I am probably going to be banned from the internet after this video <laughs> because today I'm doing a reading vlog where I read possibly the most banned, controversial, taboo romance book on the planet. This book was banned and canceled by TikTok and literally banned from Amazon. Yeah, um, it's double-edged by Nyla Kay. So listen, you guys, listen. I didn't know what I was getting myself into, really, okay? And I know that this one has been like banned and canceled and everyone was in a freaking uproar last year over this book, but I never really knew why, okay? So I decided to uh, take one for the team here and read this book. Now, all I knew going in was that there was some taboo subject matter, possible incest going on in this book, but I was like, okay, it probably only happens for like a small part of the book and that was that, right? No. <laughs> We're going to get into details here. I'm going to be spoiling this entire book for you, okay? Start to finish. I'm not going to be like dragging the author, dragging anyone who bashed this book. I'm not really going to be bashing the author, bashing the book, bashing people who bash this book. Listen, I'm just going to be spilling the tea and sharing the facts with you. That's it, okay? Spoilers this entire video. If you don't want to see spoilers, don't watch. Synopsis doesn't really give you any information. Um, it's just very vague and it's, there's like trigger warnings. It's like, oh, check trigger warnings. This is like sensitive subject matter, but doesn't say what the trigger warnings are. Yeah. All I know is that I knew something was up when I went to get this book and it's no longer available on Amazon because it was banned from Amazon. I had to purchase this shit from Nyla Kay herself, from the dark web, okay? Literally, in case the FBI is watching, this was not purchased from the dark web, it was purchased from Nyla Kay's website, thank you very much. Okay, this shit is 800 and 86 pages on my freaking book app on my phone, AKA the only place that I can read it because it's banned from Kindle. <laughs> and um, I am on page 56 so far. So this book starts off with like six pages of like, don't read this book if you're sensitive to certain subject matter, you know, ah, uh, the, the the relationships in this book had to happen, like, I'm sorry if it offends you, if you're going to be offended, don't read this book, this is only for certain people, and I'm like, what the hell is going to happen in this book, okay? Like, what is this? So this book is about this couple, not this couple, ah, these brothers, <laughs> same thing, these brothers, um, Cyrus and, and Coulson, I think their names are. And Coulson is like this tough guy. He gets in trouble and he's like, oh, he's popular and people love him. <laughs> and Cyrus has like social anxiety. He keeps to himself. He's basically me, right? So one day, Coulson comes in the room and he's like, oh, what's wrong? Like, I know you left the party with your friends early. Um, you know, what's going on? Do I have to like beat anyone up? He just starts making out with him. Like these two twin brothers just start making out on page 20 with like no context. I'm thinking like, okay, there has to be some kind of like trauma or whatever. Like, listen, I'm not here to like assess people's trauma either. I don't know what the intentions were writing this book, but I'm thinking like, okay, there has to be some kind of like trauma that's gonna happen and, and that these kids are like fucked up from the trauma. 
No. They just start making out <laughs> randomly. And then the dad walks in on them making out and beats the crap out of Coulson, the like tough guy one, and sends him to boarding school. So what does he do in boarding school? His roommate asks him to suck his dick and he's like, ew, what the fuck do you think I am? <laughs> Beats the shit out of his roommate to get kicked out of boarding school so he can go home and fuck his brother. I'm not even kidding you guys. I'm not even kidding you. <laughs> this family, listen, listen. I'm stressed. I'm already stressed 56 pages in, okay? And the dad's like, well, I don't know what to do with you. You're gonna have to stay here because you were expelled from boarding school. Like, stay away from your brother, okay? <laughs> he doesn't stay away from his brother. If he stayed away from his brother, this book would not be 886 pages long. It's also, these boys are 17 years old. And I know that's like one of the major things that people are really pissed about um, because they are children. Yeah, they're children. And I know Nyla Kay like made a bunch of TikToks defending herself and saying, oh, well, they're only two weeks away from being 18 in the book. Yada, yada, yada. I mean, listen. Do what you want with that information. I'm just putting it out there, okay? I'm just putting the information on the table, okay? So that's basically as far as I've gotten. And Coulson's only excuse so far as to why he is sexually involved with his brother is that his brother has social anxiety and he's trying to help him overcome his social anxiety. Listen, I have social anxiety. Apparently I've been doing it wrong this entire time. Okay, hi, so it's me again. It's like two days later. Um, how far did I get in this book? Not very far because I have to read it on my phone and it's been like making me dizzy and giving me a headache. Um, so I got to page 162 of 886 and you guys, what the actual fuck am I reading right now? So like, I don't even know where I left off, but anyways, Coulson or whatever comes back to the house after he gets uh, kicked out of boarding school and everyone's like stay away from your brother <laughs> and what does he do he knocks on the door to his brother's bedroom and says hey i have to show you something quick walks in shows him the phone and it has porn on the phone and he's like do you think this is hot <laughs> so weird to be asking your biological brother and watching porn with him. But listen, who am I to judge, am I right? <laughs> so he says, do you think this is hot? And then his brother like doesn't know what to say. He's like, yeah, I guess. And Coulson just strips down nude and starts off right in front of his brother. Why? <laughs> what the fuck? What? How is this like a normal thing that you just do in your brother's bedroom? Anyways, starts off and then he says, why don't you join me? And Cyrus, Cyprus, Cyprus is a tree, Cyrus, Miley Cyrus, he's like, okay, so we're reading from his point of view and he says, well, I guess it would be rude not to. I guess it would be rude not to. <laughs> what the fuck? His brother's like, okay, take off your clothes and let's f off together. And he's like, all right, I guess it would be rude to decline this invitation. <laughs> so they start jerking off. And then the next day, so this happens at night, right? Okay, the next day happens and the FBI is pounding on the door <laughs> and they open the door and there's like a SWAT team 
They come barging in and they arrest the dad for insider trading. He owes the government like two million dollars. So they take the dad away. <laughs> Good riddance, right? Um, and then they're like, well, we're homeless now because the government's like taking our house. So they all move in with their aunt, the mom's sister. So now the sister is like, um, or the aunt, whatever, the aunt is like, uh, yeah, so my house is kind of small for four people. So you boys are going to have to share a bedroom. That's fine. Let the incestuous brothers share a bedroom. So you can only imagine where this is going to go from here. So they go to this little like local festival block party. Like it's like a Mexican festival situation and there's like food and music and basically they're starving because they're poor now. Belle, come on. <laughs> they're starving because they're poor now. So they decide to get some food from this little Mexican festival. And listen, I don't know what was in that food. I don't know if it was ecstasy. I don't know what was in the food, but apparently they got so horny <laughs> that they had to go home and what was in the food. Why did that food at the festival make you both want to go home and each other? Blow your brother. <laughs> I can't. So now, it, so now that the part of the story where here comes the stepdad. So now we get a POV from the stepdad and he is like, you know, talking to their mom and getting to know them and Coulson's giving him a hard time and blah, 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 blah. And now, you know, fast forward, they are going to get married. And so they're all looking to get a house together and he is their new daddy, <laughs> literally. Literally and figuratively. Okay, goodbye. Okay, hi. So it's actually like a month later. <laughs> I actually put this book off to the side uh, because it was just hard for me to like finish on my phone and I was getting distracted with like other books that I had to read for like reviews and stuff like that and content. So I put this off to the side and I finally had some time yesterday to finish reading it and boy oh boy oh boy do I have some tea for you look at this hold on where are my notes I have pages and pages and pages of notes to go over so I'm actually gonna grab some tea all right let's talk so where did I leave off I think I left off where the parents get married so uh, the mom Carla marries Taryn and Taryn becomes the boys stepdad my notes <laughs> um, <laughs> shortly after this um, the boys lose their virginity to one another <laughs> and Coulson says that Cyrus had to take or Coulson says that he had to take Cyrus's virginity because he didn't want their stepdad to. Now keep in mind like there is nothing red flaggish about this stepdad as of yet. Like they get married, everything seems normal. So I don't know why Coulson thought, oh my brother's definitely gonna fuck our stepdad. <laughs> Like, what in the world? Anyways, <laughs> so their mom pieces out. She goes on vacation by herself. I don't even know where the fuck she went. She just pieced out for like a month, right? So she's out of the picture and it's now the twins and their stepdad living together. <laughs> So anyways, the mom's out of the picture and now the dad, Torin, he is off to gay porn in his office. And we find out he is actually bisexual. He has a history where he has like, he's had sexual encounters with men in college, I think. And the twins catch him because I don't know why he is jerking off with the door like open. 
<laughs> but he was. And the boys catch him, and so they are like secretly watching him in the hallway through the door. This book, I can't even talk. Ow, I just like broke my neck. I can't even talk about this book with a straight face. Like I am disturbed even thinking about what is about to happen. So anyway, <laughs> oh, also in my notes here, I made a little note that Cyrus was describing Coulson's girlfriend. So he has this girlfriend, he has this girlfriend throughout the book and Cyrus describes her as being blonde and having big boobs. She reminds me of mom. <laughs> Ew. Ew. A couple days later, <laughs> um, the stepdad is like eyeing up Cyrus. Him and Cyrus have this kind of budding friendship relationship because they're both into like nerdy stuff and like books and video games and, and they're kind of into the same interests and hobbies. So they develop this friendship and the stepdad's kind of like eyeing him up. Cyrus is kind of eyeing him up in the kitchen. At one point the Torin like leans in to kiss him. Like they were kind of just like leaning closer to each other, you know what I'm saying? And then Coulson walks in and sees this and he gets so jealous because, you know, his brother is like his romantic interest. So now he is super jealous of Torin and basically hates him. Okay, so in order to get back at him because he's so jealous, I don't know what the purpose of this was. Hear me out. He dresses up like Cyrus because they look identical except Coulson has like tattoos and stuff. So he basically just wears like long sleeves, dresses up like him, and then starts hitting on Torin, gives him a foot job, and sucks his What was the purpose of that? I don't know how that was supposed to be like getting back at him. I guess because he wanted to like show Cyrus like oh I had sex with him first kind of thing <laughs> I don't know but anyways so now Torin starts acting like super flirtatious around Cyrus and Cyrus is like what the fuck is going on and Cyrus is attracted to him but he's like shy and he's like I don't know why my stepdad's like coming on to me so hard sort of thing. Um, so he's like, what the fuck? So now Coulson is seeing the two of them kind of flirting back and forth. So he is getting more and more and more jealous because he wants to be the one in a relationship with his brother. So Coulson dresses up like Cyrus again and has sex with Torin and films a secret tape. Listen, <laughs> the amount of drama going on in this family. Like, where is Dr. Phil when you need him? Dr. Phil would be like, boy, you better pick yourself up by your bootstraps. <laughs> I just, I, I feel like someone needs to intervene at this point. Like, <laughs> what is happening in this household? So he makes this secret s tape that Torrin has no idea about. And then he goes into Coulson's room and he's like, hey, I need to show you something. Whips out his phone, shows him the sex tape of him and Tor. <laughs> and that's how he's trying to like get back at him. Like, oh, well I f first. <sighs> Is this what happens in Florida like every day? Is this like a normal thing that y'all do? It's a couple days later and and Cyrus uh, and Torin start making out and Cyrus tries to confess to him and tell him like, hey, by the way, that wasn't actually me that you had the other night. It was my brother. But right as he's about to confess, Coulson <laughs> comes into the doorway, walks in and just starts making out with his brother. I Listen, I am at this point in the book, I am so confused. I'm like, what in the actual fuck is going on here? So now we have two identical twin brothers, biological twin brothers, making out and Torin's sitting there like, what the fuck is going on? And then he starts like, this was so creepy to me. He starts like 
giving them little commands like, okay, bad twin, take your shirt off, good twin, take your pants off, and suck his <laughs> And I was like, oh my gosh. So now we have the three of them having a <laughs> And Coulson's like, brother, let's show them how it's done. <laughs> Taran's like, okay, bad twin, I want you to get on the bed and, and pull your pants off, and good twin, you better suck his And I was like, oh my god, oh my god, where is CPS when you need them? Like, literally straight to jail, sir. Like, this grown-ass man, this grown-ass man is watching these two First of all, biological brothers. Second of all, underage boys. And he's ordering them around like, oh yeah, suck his dick. Sir, straight to jail. Believe it or not, straight to jail, right? Like, this man needs to be stopped. <laughs> Anyways, after this whole situation happens, Torin finds out that it was actually Coulson the entire time that he was like fucking instead of Cyrus and he gets pissed and everyone kind of finds out what Coulson did and so they're pissed at him and Torin and Cyrus start getting closer and closer to one another and uh -uh, if you know what I'm saying but then after all that they all make up and the three of them are besties again <laughs> listen I'm summarizing a lot this is like a 650 page book and listen I don't have time for this. So fast forward, the mom comes home from vacation and I'm like, thank God, Carla is home. She's going to call 911. She's gonna call CPS and this fucking book is going to be over, right? Like praise the Lord, the mom is back from vacation. Just you wait, just you fucking wait what happens next. The mom comes home, she's acting really weird, she's being crazy, and they're kind of like, what is going on with mom, right? She starts screaming at Torin, like, why were you son? And Torin's like, whoa, how does she know this? Turns out her iCloud is linked to Coulson's, and she goes on there to like spy on him sometimes because she knows he's a freaking brat. So she was like spying on him, and found the tape that him and Torin made together. And so she's like, why are you my underage son? And then she goes downstairs and she's screaming at Coulson and she's like, you need to get the hell out. Why are you my husband? And I was like, oh shit. Finally, right? CPS is gonna come. They're all gonna go straight to jail. No, no, that doesn't happen. They're still like, 200 pages left of the book at this point. <laughs> so the mom kicks Torin out and she's like, you need to get the hell out of here. Like, I'm gonna get a lawyer. This is fucked up, right? Um, so the boys graduate. I think they're now 18. <laughs> After all these sexual things happen, they're finally 18. Like, you couldn't just make this, you couldn't have just told this story like two weeks later. Anyways, um, so they are at graduation, they're graduating, <coughs> graduating, I'm joking, <coughs> they're graduating high school and uh, Cyrus goes up to accept his valedictorian speech and the people in the crowd call him a stepdad fucker. And they start shouting all these things at him, like, you're disgusting. And so all of his peers in school know what happened. Turns out the mom was gossiping to all her little, like, uh, like rich woman, housewife, moms <laughs> at the school, told them what happened. They all told their kids. So now everyone at the school knows about this situation going on and Coulson sees his brother getting bullied for all this so he stands up in front of everyone and announces excuse me is this thing on <clears throat> excuse me I did it I f my stepdad and I liked it too it was consensual <laughs> Listen, if this was my high school and this whole thing just happened 
in front of the whole school and someone just got up there and announced that he stepped out and liked it, I would be like, oh shit, oh shit, I need to film this. Like, <laughs> this is wild. This would be the best graduation night ever. This would have been the best night of my life. I would have been living for this drama, right? So then Coulson gets into like a fist fight and like beats up a bunch of boys. Talk about a wild graduation. I don't know what happened. I don't quite remember what happened at this part. I don't know if he like walked in on his mom doing this or he saw his mom somewhere with his psychiatrist, but he overheard them talking and we find out that Carla, Carla is made the villain in this book and Carla <laughs> is talking to the psychiatrist and we find out that she has been sucking his this entire time, giving him, paying him in BJ's, <laughs> paying him in BJ's to prescribe all these drugs to Colson to try to kill him. So she's trying to kill her son. I honestly, I'm so confused. I don't even know why she was trying to kill him. She was trying to like get him out of the picture or something because he was like ruining her life. <laughs> I don't remember what the motive was. I was just like, so what the fuck at this point? She is sucking his D so that way he prescribes drugs to him that put him into kidney failure and kill him. So he goes home and he's distraught by this information and he overdoses on a bunch of pills and Cyrus comes home and finds him and calls 911. They take him to the hospital. He's now in the ICU and he wakes up from his coma and he shares the video with Cyrus that he got of his mom talking to the psychiatrist plotting to murder him. Yeah. So now they call Daddy Torin <laughs> to come over and they're like, what the hell? So they share the video with Torin. He goes home and calls like his lawyer and whatever. And now the mom shows up at the hospital in the ICU and she's trying to get her crazy doctor that she's S in his D, she's trying to get him to uh, release Colson from the hospital and they are going to take care of him at home. So the hospital is like about to release him with this sketchy doctor and his mom who's trying to kill him. And then next thing you know, the cops show up because Torin called the police and shared the video with them. So the cops arrest the doctor and then they arrest the mom and next thing you know the three of them live happily ever after as a thruple. <laughs> Listen, what the actual fuck? And then at the end they say, after all, this isn't just a relationship, it's family. <laughs> just read. I can't believe I read this entire book. Why? <laughs> what the hell did I just read? So that's it. That's the story of Double Edged. It is the most banned book. It is the most cancelled book. I mean, do we see why? It wouldn't even be banned or cancelled if they were like adults, but then also they are biologically related. I officially read the most banned and cancelled romance book. Anyways, if you have any other suggestions for me to read, leave them in the comments down below so I can film another unhinged video like this, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!